I talked about Dogecoin. Uh, let's see where my... Why doesn't it let me... Excuse me. Live streams. Why doesn't it let me type... Oh, this is weird. Let's see. Yeah, I think YouTube has made some change recently. So recently I talked about Dogecoin and I want to see my recent update on Dogecoin. Oh, here it is. Uh, so here it is right here, guys. And you can see the title of this video right here. Where is it? Uh, so the uh, one fifty percent pump. Uh, but I talked about the dump right here. So Dogecoin is where is the video again? I just lost the video that I was looking at. Uh, bear with me. Bear with me. I just lost the video that I was looking at. Oh, here it is. So this is from ten days ago. You know, after the you know one hundred and fifty percent pump. And I told you guys that I was looking at a minimum of a 50% crash, but we said that, you know, the crash was going to be, of course, much bigger than, you know, 50%. So if we give us some time, I think, you know, Dogecoin, if, if it hasn't already, you know, is a project that is definitely going to experience a lot of pain. So this is my recent update on Dogecoin. Uh, before I give you guys, you know, a brand new update, uh, let's just kind of revisit, you know, what I said 10 days ago. Uh, this is going to be a sustainable average. I think we are going to see a bigger drop. Uh, this is the beginning of the bigger drop. We have gone from 16, uh, 16 cents all the way down to around 11 cents. This is a big drop right here, guys. We are talking about a 26% drop. And so you can see, you know, 10 days ago, uh, you know, the drop that I was talking about was something, you know, very, very serious that you had to consider. Uh, you know, a lot of people were trying to go along on Dogecoin, uh, but clearly, you know, this was not going to be sustainable. So I was talking about targets, you know, somewhere around here. Let me come right here, guys. Uh, show you guys exactly what I was looking at. Uh, the potential target, somewhere around here, guys. Somewhere around five cents. Those are massive targets. Uh, but again, you know, really the big Oops, I think I kind of just skipped that. So right here, let me go back right here. Uh, there you go. Uh, you can see Dogecoin is more like going to drop all the way down here, guys, to around seven cents. You know, to test the twenty-one uh, day, day. So there you have it, guys. You know, really, my first targets was retesting. You know, the moving averages. Uh, so let's take a look at. You know where Dogecoin is right now. Uh, do we have Dogecoin? You know, we gotta bring it up. Dogecoin. So this is Dogecoin right here. Uh, again, the 21 EMA, extremely important, guys. So not only did we retest, you know, the 21 EMA, we actually dropped, you know, all the way down to my target. Seven cents, exactly like I told you guys. Uh, Going back to this video, no, not that one. This one right here. Uh, this is fine. I'm not expecting test the 21 uh, day. day. Uh, this is of course going to take some time. I'm going to drop all the way down here, guys. Around seven cents. So there you have it, guys. My first, you know, big target, seven cents, and look exactly what we did. Uh, Dogecoin dropped all the way down to seven cents, and you had this huge bounce all the way back to retest these levels. So, uh, exactly as 
you know, we predicted, you know, a massive crash. This is a 57% drop. You look at this video right here. Uh, you see the title of the video, you know, Dogecoin 50% crash has begun. This is the price target expecting major buyers down here. So again, you can see, you know, a lot of buyers that stepped in around, you know, seven cents as we expected, uh, push the price up. But I think this right here, guys, is more likely the end of this rally. Uh, you always get something like that, you know, whenever you, you get a sharper correction, like this one right here, you know, they can bounce a part of, you know, the entire move. Uh, you can see that we just had a day cap bounce right here. We got rejected by the 21 EMA on the full hour. And it looks like, you know, this could potentially be the next leg down. So if you're looking at Dogecoin and you're kind of confused and you're not sure exactly what's going on and exactly what's, you know, going to happen, uh, you know, I'm here for you and I can show you exactly what I think, you know, we are going to see in the next couple of days. Uh, so eight to nine cents is a major, major, major resistance. Uh, but of course we have to acknowledge that we are coming from, you know, extremely oversold territory. So if we were to get, you know, a major relief rally, uh, that is something that shouldn't surprise, you know, any of you guys, because we are talking about a project that is massively down 57% in a very short period of time. Uh, whenever you get something like this, you know, always, always anticipate, you know, a nice, you know, move to retest key levels. So right now I'm looking at this, you know, nine, eight cents, you know, potential resistance. But if we break above that, it absolutely wouldn't surprise me to see Dogecoin retesting 11 cents. So 11 cents will be a major price target you know, if it does play out, uh, but if we do get all the way up to 11 cents, you know, smart money, or, you know, if you really want to, you know, if you, if you really want to avoid, you know, what comes after that, I would say that you have to take a hundred percent of all your profits because more likely guys, if we get this rally, uh, that is a major, you know, short term rally. Uh, we're talking about a 56% rally from these lows right here. So I will take all my profits around, you know, 11 cents because the next move is going to be much, much bigger. Uh, if we do get rejected, you know, right up here around 11 cents, if we were to get all the way up to 11 cents, uh, more likely we would, we would get rejected. And if we were to get rejected around 11 cents, uh, I am going to look at you know these targets right here in the next couple of weeks so i'm looking at a move that is going to bring all that is going to bring us all the way back here to retest you know the seven cents target and if we take out seven cents my next price target will be a five cents dogecoin and that right there guys will complete you know something that we talked about recently and that is you know wiping out all of the gains from the last couple weeks. And this right here is the exact reason why I always encourage you that if you are in a position, you have to consider taking profits because during bear markets, guys, these bear market rallies, you want to make sure that you take advantage of them and make sure that you do realize those profits because more likely, you know, a couple of weeks later, not only do we come back down, you know, to retest the lows where the, you know, where that move initiated from, but more likely guys, we actually end up going lower. Uh, a great example, you know, if we look at, you know, the daily time frame, uh, let's go to the daily. You can see these bear market rallies right here with Dogecoin. You know, this is a 66% move. So if you didn't take profits, you can see that we came back down, you know, wiped out all the gains and then crashed all the way down to these levels right here. Uh, had another major rally, you know, right here, guys. 
you know, a, an 80% rally. Again, we pulled all the way back, almost got rid of the gains. Uh, you come all the way back here. You see the same thing play now. Had another massive rally right here, an 86% rally. I uh, came back down, wiped out all of these gains right here, and massively dropped all the way down to around 12 cents. So if you're not taking profits, then I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, it is not just Dogecoin. It is you know, a bunch of other projects that I recently